we have a we have a motor here, um, a condenser fan motor, and uh, uh, bringing it back to the shop is a good idea when you want to use a rescue motor um, and or if your work conditions are really bad on on site. So um, one of the things I want to make everyone aware of is it's critical to have the same distance from the fan blade to the um, the cage or what's holding it um, with the new and the old. Uh, if we know that this is a factory installation and if you don't have this fan blade in the same position, if you end up with it up an inch or two, it's no longer right in the shroud where it should be and it's going to drastically change the amount of airflow that this thing will push. Uh, also, if you put the fan blade too far up, you might hit the compressor or some piping or some wiring. So it's kind of critical that we get very close um, to the existing or the factory setting with the fan. Of course, you want to make sure that your RPMs on your old motor um, and your new motor are identical. And you also want to make sure that your rotation is correct and certainly you want the same amps or greater on your new motor. Same amps or greater on your new motor. Um, and of course you want to look at your fan blade and make sure you don't install it upside down after you're done. So that's also critical. Alright, that's it for now.